digital romance TV. Hey guys, it's uh, Michael Fiore from Digital Romance Inc. And today we're going to talk about how to keep a man from cheating. This is Nora, by the way. Hi, Nora. Hi. Nora, how are you doing? I'm good. Cool. Right. So let's talk about how to keep a man from cheating. Because so many women out there are uh, racked with anxiety around the idea of their man know, going out and sleeping think with somebody else. Do you maybe that part of the problem and why men cheat more is because women are so afraid they're going to cheat more and so they kind of drive them in, away with their with their insecurity well, and anxiety men, about Well, men it? cheat slightly more than women at this yeah, point. Yeah, at this point, yes. I believe, it's, of, I believe it's like a 55-45 kind of thing. Yeah. It is not huge. It used to be much For bigger. For those that admit it. It used to be much, exactly. It used to be much bigger back before women got jobs and had money. I do know for a fact that there are plenty of men for whom the constant anxiety and the constant accusations of cheating, or women who are doing things like digging through cell phones and mm -hmm. stuff like that, actually will cause a guy to cheat. Right. Um, so I would say the number one way to keep a guy from cheating is to treat him like someone who's not going to cheat, yep. cheat which means you have to trust him, yep. which is hard. Yep. Because when you trust somebody, you're giving them the opportunity to hurt you, yep. which means he could cheat and could hurt you. But you're better off assuming the best than assuming the worst. Yep. You're better off that when he says, hey, I've got this friend I've had for 20 years who's a woman who's in town and I'm going to go get a beer with her, not freaking out about that and immediately assuming that he's going to sure. cheat on you. You may even want to go along. Yeah, okay. that would be fun. That's what I'd want to do. Yeah. Other ways to keep a guy from cheating, um, having a good, connected, positive sex life. Yep will go a long way. Now certainly there are guys who have perfectly fine sex lives with the woman at home who still end up cheating because there's this need for variety that tends to kind of happen there. I was watching a TV show this morning and there was a, a guy who had cheated on his wife and his answer was she was just different. Not prettier, not less pretty, just different. But in general, if a guy is having a satisfying sex life at home, he's not going to feel like he has to go out on the town too much. I think that's true. Yeah. Yes. Um, I think there's probably more there. What else can we say about this topic? Uh, I think keeping um, um, communication always in your relationship, yep. not to a point where it's like, oh, God, we have to talk about our feelings again, but to a place where everybody feels like they're being heard and that and there's, no, there's none of those topics that have to be like shelved on a regular basis because they're too hard to deal with and they make yep. everybody upset. Because if you have things like that in your relationship, it makes people want to check out of the relationship well, men, regularly. Men also cheat on women sometimes because they feel like, I can't tell the woman I love and who I'm spending my life with, I'm having kids with, I'm doing whatever with, what I really want. Yeah. Right? Because a lot of guys will feel like, you know, guys, we're kind of filthy perverts, really. Sure. Right? Like all of us kind of are, except for Ben. Um, I have no idea what Ben is still filthy pervert about. I know I am. And we feel like, hey, if she knew what was actually going through my head, she would freak out so much. And so if you right. can encourage the ability to have open dialogue on fantasies, they're more likely to stay fantasies. Right. Right? Because then you're actually getting them fulfilled in some way simply by right. and, and, you know, role-playing them or talking about them. Also, if you're in the beginning of a relationship and you guys have a different, different um, sexual libido, Yep. Don't go further in your relationship. That's true. If it's if it's dramatically different. If it's dramatically different and you want different things sexually, like yeah. in a very severe way or yeah. in the amount of frequency and all of those if things, even if, early on. Yeah. If you're a once a monther and he or she is a once a dayer, you got an issue. And it's it's never gonna work. By the way, no guy actually wants a uh, girlfriend or wife who has a much higher sex drive than he does. That just makes him feel bad about himself, from what I've heard. I don't know. So anyway, so the main things though is like maintain. Openness about fantasy and not judgmental, being judgmental about it. Yep. If he has a fantasy about having two girls at once, it doesn't mean he has to have two girls at once. He just wants to be able to talk about it yeah. and have it be okay. And that doesn't mean you're not good enough, right. right? It's not about you at that point. The other thing is to make sure there's a level of respect in your relationship in general because um, any woman who becomes mean mommy, he doesn't want to be with sexually. Which is actually going to. She doesn't want to be with you either. So. No, well, no, I'm, I'm, well, I'm well, I'm well aware of that. That's like yeah. the number one thing that kills sex and relationships. Yep. But that's kind of the long and the short of it. Keep your own sex life healthy. Don't be judgmental and understand men. We have a wonderful program called the Secret Survey, which is deeply about understanding men sexually, psychologically, right. emotionally, oh, etc. Yep. And you can check it out uh, by going to the link or going to whyhelies.com. It's about why men lie to women that he really does love. Hmm. Why would he do that if he really loves her? How oh, strange. Uh, you can also leave a comment down below. Go to digitalromanceinc.com and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. You've been lied to by every man you've ever met. 
Go to digitalromance.tv forward slash secret to watch a special video where I teach you why men lie to women they love and how to finally discover the astonishing truth about men.